Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Mohammad Hassan. I have more than 15 plus years of experience as a user experience designer. And today we are going to talk about what should you do or what should your first step should be if you get a design project. So if you get a user experience design or UI design or web design project, what should be your first steps? So uh, for me, when I actually get any project, whether it's a dashboard design, SaaS app design, or landing page or web page design, or mobile app design, the first thing is that I need to understand the domain. Okay, domain means what is the business, what it is about, uh, how they operate, what is their plan for the future, how they are going to develop this whole system, um, any limitations, what will be the coding language that they are going to use, uh, where is their uh, you know, development team, it is re remote or centralized or somewhere else. So there are a lot of questions I normally ask them related to marketing, related to development, relating to their time frame, relating to their how and uh, how actually at that product actually works. So the first thing I try to understand is how that product actually works, okay? So I'm trying to, you know, improve my accent. A lot of people uh, say that my accent is not that great. Anyhow, so, so uh, first try to learn about that product, that web application, try to use it yourself, try to understand what are the limitations, what are the primary users, and what is the target audience. So when I studied and learned everything, like, you know, all the different features, what are they going to release in their MVP, minimal viable product, then the first, next step is study their competitors. So first step is, uh, discovery, which is discovery phase for me. I try to discover the product. Second is that I try to, you know, research about their competitors. How many competitors they have, how their websites are operating, how their web apps or their applications are working, how many users they have, what, how much traffic they have, all that stuff. So that is uh, if, if they have presence in social media and all that, so I need to, you know, figure out how their marketing is working as well. So this is going to be my second step. Third step is that I would like to, you know, go around how I'm going to build a more powerful or better brand image for them because your first impressions, your top uh, section, your dashboard when someone arrives or, you know, logins to your web app or application, the first screen they see, the first few seconds or first interactions, they really matters a lot. So first impressions, try to build a better first impression for any product, any web page I design. Okay, so that is, I think the three steps I would take the most. Color scheme and typography, these are the two key factors which always matter in a better and powerful branding image, or you know, if, if you are a service provider like me, still these colors and color scheme and your typography, they matters the most, in my opinion. Others might differ, but these are the three things. So next, you know, we try to start building uh, and improving on, uh, you know, brand guidelines, branding first, and then we move on to web pages, web apps, and all that stuff. Because colors are going to be used in their uh, websites and web app also. So if I'm designing a product, SaaS product, which I normally mostly do, then I'm going to use the same color scheme in their SaaS app and their landing page because it should look like a same set of things because they are related they are from the same company or same product so they should look or you know integrate uh, and seamlessly they should look very similar okay so that is all i hope you have enjoyed this video uh, because a lot of people when they get a design project they mostly get confused what should we do 
So these are three steps I showed you. I hope you have enjoyed and uh, you know got some uh, information, valuable information from my videos. Make sure you like and subscribe because I think a lot of subscribers, uh, viewers, they are not subscribers. So please subscribe and I will meet you in another video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.